What's up guys, Pikachu's cousin here. I got something a little special for you, I guess. But it's uh, the random Pokemon generator. I figured why not uh, click around, see if I can find some cool teams. I got a lot of shit, so this was like kind of the best thing. So anyway, I'm just gonna let you know what's going on with the Pokemon. So I'm gonna have a choice scarf, Moxie, Crocodile, a support, um, what's it called, Lipard. I forgot to put leftovers on it, so I was battling for like an hour without leftovers. I got the specially defensive Latios, choice specs, yeah, choice specs, Typhlosion. I got um, sub protect, dual stab, max speed, uh, max special attack, I think, um, Yan Mega. And I have Spore, Sword Stance, uh, Technician, Breloom, not to be fucked with, man, not to be messed with. Breloom has got mad power. So yeah, let's just get this going. Um, I'm gonna lead off with my Lipard, because that's pretty much what I lead off with, with this team. And I'm just gonna taunt this Dust Noir, knowing that he's gonna want to set up a substitute, because usually these things sub-punch. And I'm just gonna go for the Toxic to get some status going on this guy. And now I'm just gonna go for the Dark Pulse. And he's gonna hit me with another Earthquake. And right here I figure I can bring in my uh, Yan Mega and not get touched by this Earthquake. And hopefully I can take him out with an Air Slash. But I'm just barely, <laughs> just barely able to take him out. And he's gonna be able to get off a Pain Split. I'm kind of okay with that just because he's racking up toxic damage even with that pain split. So with my air slash, oh I get the flinch, that's pretty nice. But with the air slash, I'm going to be able to take him out with the toxic, so that's pretty cool. And he's going to bring in this frost slash, and I'm just going to go for a substitute just to scout out what he's going to do. And thinking back, I probably could have uh, gone for a protect instead of substitute, but whatever. Because Yan Mega gets pwned anyway. So now I'm starting to think that this thing is choice. So I'm going to bring in my choice specs Typhlosion. I go for the extra sensory just because I thought he was going to switch, but I don't know what. Maybe Gengar, that would have been cool. But now I'm going to switch because I don't want to get hit by the Scald. And I'm going to bring in my Breloom after I fodder off my life heart. Go for the Spore. He makes a poor choice in the uh, Sleep Fodder, bringing out his Chandelure. So now I'm able to set up a Sword Stance and just annihilate this thing with a bullet seed. Man, that's resisted and it did so much damage. Uh, so, he's gonna bring in this Frost Last and I thought I would be faster, but now I figure out that this thing has gotta be Choice Scarf. So I'm gonna bring in my Choice Scarf um, Crocodile and go for the Crunch, take out the um, Jellicent with one hit, get my Moxie boost going. Um, in comes this Gengar, I was kinda worried that he would be I don't know, somehow faster, maybe he's Choice Scarf too, fuck if I know. Because he's got Mono Ghost, so... Yeah, anything can happen when your opponent has Mono Ghost, man. I use a Mono Ghost team and it's really awesome. So I'm just tearing through his pokes with my, um... Uh, what's it called? Crocodile. But I'm gonna switch out because I don't want to get pwned because Miss Magius is nothing to underestimate. And he's gonna set up the Nasty Plot and he's gonna be able to take out my Typhlosion. Although I did do half damage, so I'm going to be able to bring in my Choice Scarf Crocodile and finish him off with the Crunch. So, that was a great game, dude. Um, I <laughs> love the Mono Ghost. That's my favorite Mono type to do. And now I'm going to have the second match here. Oh, yeah, this one, Wobbuffet. I'm going to taunt this Wobbuffet and completely wall the crap out of it. Ladies and gentlemen, if you ever need a counter to Wobbuffet, use a Lipard. It just fucks it up. So now that he's taunted, I'm able to get off the Toxic, and he's going to switch out as I'm going to go for the Dark Pulse, get some damage off on Jirachi, which is kind of cool. And now I'm going to go straight for the T-Wave, because I want to paralyze this thing, because I feel like it will help me deal with his Serene Grace, Head, Iron Iron Head, and Body Slam, and all that. And I'm going to switch, hoping that he gets paralyzed, but he actually goes for T-Wave on the switch, paralyzes my Breloom. So now I'm going to go for Force Palm, because... The Heatran was pretty obvious. I mean, that's his best counter to my Breloom. I'm gonna stay in thinking. I think I don't. I don't know. I honestly don't know. I thought I was faster, maybe, but I guess I just let Breloom die for no reason. As I'm gonna bring in my Lipard, he's gonna switch for the obvious Toxic and go back into his Wolf Fed. And I'm just gonna taunt it again because 
Once Taunt is off on Wobbuffet, he can do nothing to me. And now I'm just going to hit him with a Dark Pulse. Looks like I'm going to be able to take him out. He goes for Mirror Coat. I cannot remember what Mirror Coat does at all. So, yeah, I don't have to worry about that. And now I'm going to go for a Dark Pulse. As he switches into his Garchomp, always nice to get some damage off on it. And now I'm just going to go for a Toxic to cripple it. And now I'm going to taunt it because I don't want it to keep setting up Sword Stances. I mean, Garchomp with any boost is just a freaking wreck. So now I'm going to go into my Choice Scarf Crocodile. And I figured Outrage was the best option, but I probably could have killed it with a Crunch. And now I'm just going to start outraging on his team, getting my Moxie boost going up. Choice Scarf Crocodile really does some work, man. Just one hits that Gyarados. And now he's going to bring in his Jirachi because it resists Dragon types. And I'm just going to stay in because I don't want to risk a direct switch because I, I kind of felt like an Iron Head might kill my Typhlosion. So I'm just going to stay in. I luckily get off the Outrage so I can get some damage off on this Jirachi. And now I'm going to bring in my Choice Specs Typhlosion and go straight for the Flamethrower, able to take it out. And that's really nice. And he's going to bring in his Breloom. And he goes for the substitute, probably just um, trying to get his poison heal up. And uh, I'm just going to be able to take out his substitute with my flamethrower. Unfortunately for me, he's going to be able to spore me on the next turn. So I'm already cooking up a way to deal with this Breloom in my head. So I'm just going to stay in and let my Typhlosion die to a Focus Punch. And right here, he's actually going to go for the Focus Punch and finish me off. So that's exactly what I want. And I'm going to be able to bring in my Yan Mega. And now I'm going to protect to see if he's going to go for the Spore. Because I feel like he's going to want to sleep stall me for the win. So he does go for the store, the Spore, not Store. <laughs> and I, now I am faster. So I'm going to be able to set up my Substitute. Hopefully he's going to go for a Spore again. And he does. So this is working out perfectly. So now I'm going to be able to take out his uh, Sub with a Bug Buzz as he will take out mine with a focus punch but I'm not worried about that at all because I have the times 4 super effective air slash for the win critical hit didn't even matter man. so down goes that breloom and yeah that was a GG dude I really think your name is funny taco for you and yeah I uh, hope you guys enjoy it and peace out